So NSAIDs, as we know, stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. It's been used, or they've been used, for a number of years, predominantly in the aspect of treating inflammation and pain through a number of different mechanisms that really deal with something that's called prostaglandin synthesis and along those lines. But at the end of the day, they basically stop and halt pain by affecting different pathways within your body to be able to improve overall inflammation. The upside to using NSAIDs is that they're quick, they're fast, and they, they don't traditionally expose you to forms of addiction like what you might get with other analgesics like a traditional opioid type medication. So the drawbacks to using NSAIDs are multiple, but three really kind of stand out. The first is that you can have a problem with the gastrointestinal system, your stomach, your intestines, where you can have some degree of bleeding and changes in the lining of the stomach or the intestines. The second is that you can have a problem with your kidneys, where it can cause kidney dysfunction and potentially failure with overuse. And then third, and finally, and most importantly, is it can affect the cardiovascular system. And this is a relative new finding is that it can increase your blood pressure with resulting changes that can cause you to have a heart attack or stroke. So the benefits to using acetaminophen, which really needs to be clarified, is acetaminophen, also known as Tylenol, is sometimes mistakenly believed to be in the same class of things like aspirin and ibuprofen. But quite frankly, they are completely different. So acetaminophen, one of the things that we see is that it doesn't cause the same type of problems with the kidney or the heart. And the usefulness is besides it impacting inflammation and pain, it also is an antipyretic, meaning it can be able to decrease your fever if you happen to have one. So the benefits to using bromelain is it's a natural occurring substance which allows for you to be able to take part of what your body would normally do to treat inflammation, as opposed to introducing a foreign substance that can cause you to have other problems and issues that are associated with it. So substance P is actually involved with the propagation of pain. It's a, a peptide that really functions to hasten pain and make it worse. So capsaicin actually impacts substance P. It lowers it so that your level and likelihood of having problems with pain in a multitude of different body parts and different regions can be decreased because your substance P level is mitigated by using a topical, which doesn't expose you to the same problems as what you might get with either an injection or with the aspect of taking it orally. So fish oil, some of the major benefits are that it helps put you in a preventative state for dealing with inflammation. So by looking at various different elements, so omega-6 and omega-3, at the end of the day, it puts your body in a state that its level of inflammation as a whole is decreased, which then lets you be much more protective and not quite as susceptible to an inflammatory type process or to other forms of injury that would result in you having to be able to make up the difference. So the downside to using cheap fish oil is that frequently we don't get the same type of balance of that six and three that was mentioned earlier. It's critical that you use a high quality, professional grade fish oil that's gonna provide you the nutrients that your body needs and not just be able to utilize something that's quick and fast but doesn't get you where you really need to be. So glucosamine, frequently in conjunction with another uh, substance called chondroitin, actually has pretty strong scientific evidence behind it. And what they've been able to see is that it can be protective of cartilage so that your cartilage breakdown is less compared to using other substances which may improve your pain, but don't, doesn't necessarily improve the anatomy and the structure of cartilage as a whole. So turmeric is a natural occurring substance that can be utilized to improve inflammation as a whole with none of the downsides of NSAIDs and can be able to provide overall pain relief, particularly with consistent use. So there's a number of different ways to be able to reach us in terms of being able to get a consultation. The first is to be able to go to our website, 
which is CuttingEdgePain.com. The second is to be able to give us a call at 574-404-PAIN, P-A-I-N, also 7246. And the third way is actually to be able to reach out to us via our chat bot on our website that allows for us to be able to communicate with you and give you information as well as connect you into our newsletter and other offerings.